Hello and welcome to another episode of Writing Fighting. Like I promised, I'm going to talk about swords and then we're going to move on to half sorting. So today, all I'm going to talk about is these two swords. So I want you to notice, and remember I'm mostly interested in writing about fighting. I want you to notice that these are roughly the same length. Their hilts are roughly the same length. They have roughly the same shape, and yet they're very different swords. Both of them are long swords. Both of them duplicate swords that were made in Italy in the late 14th and early 15th century. They are very different swords. And this episode and next episode, I'll show you some of the differences. This sword is very much like a rapier. It's very slim. It's a great thrusting weapon. It's very easy to get that point into chainmail. This sword is a cutting weapon, but it still has a point for thrusting. And remember that either one of these can break your arm through chainmail. Either one of these can be slammed through the visor of a helmet or through the chinks in your plate armor. They just have different approaches to things like the bind, okay? And I just wanted to point out, very different swords, and they are not necessarily based on a person's size, as you will see when Elizabeth cuts the pumpkin in half with this one. Okay. Anyway, swords. They can be very different and still referred to as the same thing, at least in Dungeons & Dragons. Catch you next time.